let's jump into it with uh, with Leah. Welcome to the show, Leah. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, give the audience, give the listeners, you know, two or three minutes here on what your chapter is in the book, um, kind of what the overview is going to look like, and then we'll, we'll, we'll jump into kind of how that, you know, impacts and plays into today's market. Sure. So my chapter is called How to Win Big Before You Start. So basically how to set yourself up for success, how to get your ducks in a row before you even go into a house. Uh, you know, a lot of people are like, let's go look at, let's go to an open house and then go from there. And that's really the wrong way to get started. So I kind of just split it out into a three-step plan, making sure that you understand your quarter core motivation and making sure you're on the same page as the spouse or whoever else is involved in the process, or if it's just yourself buying, okay, why am I buying this house and really understanding, you know, the why behind, behind it. And then the second step is of course, finding a great agent to work on your behalf who, you know, knows the market, knows how to negotiate and knows how to protect you, especially in a market like this. And then the third thing is how to find the right lender. So how to find the right lender who not only is going to have the best right, but is going to again, work on your behalf and make sure that they help you win offers. Hey, maybe somebody like Patrick Claris. Exactly. So Just like Patrick Claris. Um, I, th I think it's a, it's a really, really important topic because I remember, um, oh, it's got to be five years ago now. Uh, I had somebody reach out to me and they said, such and such a person is thinking about buying a home. Do they need an agent? Yeah. And I think people still have that opinion today of like, eh, do I really need an agent to go and buy a home? Like I kind of maybe get it when it comes to selling, but I'm buying a house. I mean, how difficult can it be? Like, what do you say to the people that are still on the fence about even just, you know, do I need an agent? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we kind of use this um, terminology in our, in our office a lot. It's like, hey, if you had to get brain surgery, would you just go to your, you know, would you go to the clinic down the street and have them help you? Are you going to seek out, you know, the best the best doctor in town or even the best doctor in the country. It's the same thing as an agent. Like, are you going to just do this surgery yourself and just kind of wing it and see how it goes or, you know, go to the person next door because they do it part time or are you going to seek out the best? Um, and especially in a market like this where you just see buyers getting completely taken advantage of by sellers, you have to make sure that you have a great agent that works on your behalf and knows what they're doing. So that way you don't get taken advantage of. Yeah, I think it's even more important today than maybe it's ever been yeah. to have somebody that, that not only are they going to kind of fight for your best interest, but that they're incredibly knowledgeable about what the market is right now, mm -hmm. that they're up to date on uh, on stats and trends and they're, they're thinking through like, what are, the, what are the things I need to do differently today that I was maybe not doing six months ago or things that I was doing that now no longer, no longer right. work. And, uh, you know, that's one of the cool things about being on the team uh, here at the Totramani Home Selling Team is that those conversations are happening every day. Every day we all get to the office and we, we huddle for like 30 minutes in the morning and we're sharing good news and we're laughing and we're joking about whatever. We're talking, you know, Mavs and we're talking, of course, Borough. I haven't even mentioned Middlesbrough <laughs> yet today. Can't believe I've done that. Shocking. <laughs> yes, we all love it. Two games left it. of the season. <laughs> it's very close. I'm, oh. I'm a little nervous about what's going to happen. We're fighting for the playoffs. We're going to. I'm we're very gonna nervous too. Yeah. Very nervous. It keeps me up at night. Now, Leah's a big F1 fan as well. <laughs> Thought, thoughts on the F1 season so far, Leah? Yeah, I mean it's been good. I like. I personally like a little more drama, but. It's early. You know, it is early. Big Miami <laughs> Miami Grand Prix yeah. next weekend. First one. Yeah, it's going to be fun. And uh, Lee will be heading down to to Coda in Austin Coda. Uh, yeah. later this year to go watch the F1 down there. So there we go. I got all my stuff done. <laughs> Mavs wow. Sports out of the way. We've got Burrow out of the way <laughs> and we've got the uh, we've got the F1 stuff all done. So uh, that's that's all good. Uh, 